welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the problem eight in chapter nine. In this chapter, we will talk about the leader momentum. So this one is a little bit difficult, but we, I think we can work out work it out together. See how it happens. First one to tell us the air moves the velocity of the air. This one we want, right? Finally, it is just uh, hit a a face of a building. And this building is tell you the wide and the head and how high it is and how wide it is. And finally, this air gets the velocity v0. And then it also tell you the density of the air. The mass is 1.3 kilogram per cubic meter. This is density, agree? Ask you to determine the average force for this air. So how can you do that? You can see the velocity is given. Initial velocity, final velocity. And uh, can you find the change of the average mass? Sure. What have we learned in this chapter? Momentum. So can you use momentum to solve these problems? First thing we can see, we consider this air as this is Air is just moves in this box. So we can consider this is a box of air. Do you agree? The box of the air, first thing we can find its mass. Agree? The density is given. And then we can see we know the how high it is, how wide it is. And for this box, we also need to find the length for this side. L. Agree? How can you find L? L is V1 times 30. How much time taking it takes? Okay, so now we can find the mass for this box of air is density times the volumes. And then we input all the known quantities. Density is given, H is given, W is given, L we can replace by V1 times 30. So now mass is given. Now can you find the average force? Yes, we consider this equation. The change of the momentum divided by 30 equals to the net force acting on the object. So the force times 30 equal to change of the momentum. You can see the V2 is given, V1 is given, agree? So we can find the force very easily. So the force equal to this equation, change of the momentum divided by 30. And then we can see V2 is just a zero, so this term drops. And then for mass, we input the known quantity, this one, agree? So we input it inside, see, 30 and 30 can be cancelled. We just get this very perfectly uh, equation. See, in, look at inside this equation. Density is given, H is given, W is given, V1 is given. So very easily we can get the force. Thank you.